All right, it's that time again, time for another solo overnighter in the woods. And I'm thinking we return to the scene of the crime and improve a shelter, make it 10 times better. Most importantly, we're gonna get her done corporal style. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are. We're back at the scene of the crime from last week's video. It was titled, Solo Overnight, Building a Do-It-Yourself Mud Hut in the Woods. If you haven't seen it, check that bad boy out. So here's what happened with that video. Most didn't see it, most were not notified, most have no idea it actually existed. Within one hour, YouTube shut it down and funneled it to the worst 10 of 10 list. That means it was the worst, or they considered it the worst video of my last 10 videos. And most did not receive notifications. So what I'm asking you to do is go back and watch that video, watch it two, three, four, five times, and show YouTube that you're gonna watch the videos no matter what they think or do. Now, moving on, I went ahead and I tore this back wall off. I want to improve this with a platform and create an elevated tree cabin in the woods. Let's get to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. notch it, lash it off, and do it again down there, and we have a platform, or the beginnings of an elevated cabin in the woods. This side here is lower than my other side, so what I'm thinking about doing is just cut this off, get a spacer, a good six inches, stick it underneath here, put it on top of that, and then lock it off. And the height should match there, and then we're in business.
all the gear in my videos can be found in three places. One on my Amazon Influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Gonna add some bracing right here. Gonna mark that off and then cut it like a barber chair. Place it underneath and tie it off. Tuck it under and pull it tight. Pull that down, it gives me two walls here. And I'm thinking an elevated fireplace right here, or just a elevated platform for tonight. And then we're gonna come back over the next few weeks and build on this bad boy. But it's a start. three, three and a half hours to complete this build and that includes running around here looking for sticks and logs and trying to get everything cut and blah blah blah. So let's just say four hours. It's early to mid-afternoon and the rain's coming so I want to get 
some type of fire pit either down here and just say screw it or an elevated one, preferably an elevated one, because when that rain comes, the fire is going to be done. I'm going to have to put some kind of roll-up door on here and just conserve the heat. Luckily, today was the high of 72. We're in the eastern woodlands and it's mid-November, so this is probably the last warm day we're going to get with a low of 50. So next week we're looking at getting in the 30s. So I'm going to enjoy it tonight. I think to uh, save time, what I'm going to do is just dig a fire pit down here. Like I said, the rain's coming, so I can probably save a good hour doing this, cook some food, get a door put on this bad boy, and then hunker down. Science AF. Take that army of darkness. Boom. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app, and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. That is a taste burger. Catch you all in a few. Mm. Mm. So that was a crude form of black powder, not to be confused with gunpowder. I'm not gonna go into the ratio because YouTube would love to have that, that way they can throttle further than they already do. So we're gonna refrain, but potassium nitrate, sulfur, and charcoal, and you'll be in business. On that note, we talk about the shelter and my plans for this shelter in the morning. Um, this is the last warmer night, about 54 degrees, and I'm going to enjoy it. Next week, we're dropping into the 30s and 20s, so catch you all in the morning. Oh, there's the rain. And I'm off the ground and I'm dry. So, with that, coffee time.
go. Our spam and eggs on a 140 year old skillet. And that's what we're talking about right there. So one thing I forgot about last night was my Instagram site. Corporal's Corner on Instagram. If you're not following me, you're wrong. Check that out on Instagram, Corporal's Corner. Uh, a lot of behind the scenes footage, um, sneak peeks, teasers if you will. Um, get on that, and as well as my Facebook, Corporal's Corner. You won't regret it. So we'll go ahead and reshoot this whole segment right here. I'll stand out here in the rain, or actually sit out here in the rain, because someone's going to say, I couldn't hear you over the rain. And all you got to do is turn the mic up or put on headphones. And everything is crystal clear. So I'll go ahead and shoot it again. Now my Instagram page, most are not on that. I have over a million subs, and I have like 45,000 on Instagram. If you want behind-the-scenes footage, things I'm working on, things I'm going to be involved in, where I'm at, what I'm doing, um, teasers, if you will, Check me out on Instagram. It's Corporal's Corner on Instagram. Let's bump that thing up to 100,000. Once again, that's Corporal's Corner on Instagram. Let's go ahead and talk about this shelter. We have a double-decker raised tree cabin in the woods. Why? Because I incorporated our previous build, which was a tree. We're off the ground. And here's what I'm thinking. We come back to this bad boy periodically. I'm thinking a double wall. Wall on the inside, airspace, a good four or five inches, maybe six inches. Another wall, all the way around, packed full of clay. This is going to insulate it, make it watertight. A lean-to roof, fireplace over here, and some type of door. That we can come back to this all winter. Storage space underneath, we'll go ahead and put logs around that. Leave a small opening to get inside, store firewood, store gear. Um, maybe a couple rubber tubs, um, of blankets, things like that. And just come back to it over the wintertime and see how she fares. I want to start an actual log cabin in the woods. Found a spot, found some trees. I want to make it a composite cabin, like a metal decking roof, but actually the frame of the cabin out of the logs from the landscape. So we can bounce between a couple of builds. So, more great things to come. And there you go, still overnight building a double decker raised tree cabin in the woods. More great things to come. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found at three places. One, of my Amazon influencer page, and two, my self reliance outfitters influencer page. If you're interested in Corpus Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me a favor hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. If you're out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. Now it's time for Corporal's final thoughts. Okay, I had a saying in the Marine Corps, there's no cure like secure. In other words, if you can't control yourself, I'll control you. Now, let's think about that. Control or be controlled. Now that applies to everything. Do you have restraint in your marriage or relationships? Are you trustworthy enough and have self-control to get up in the morning, go to work every day, make that money, support your family? Or are you prone to vices, meaning I'm going to the casino after work, I'm going to spend my paycheck, I have to get the beer, I have to go play pool, I'm doing something else and things that I shouldn't be doing. There's two simple paths in life, control or be controlled. Someone or something will control you. That's what all these laws and rules and everything we have in this world is for, to keep everybody controlled. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Think of the chaos that would ensue, Old West style. And at some point, some people probably deserve that. Um, but the reality is, for the whole, it wouldn't be good to live in that fear. So let me ask you this. Are you the kind of person that can exercise self-control, get the job done, have a few vices, but still pull through and accomplish your goals and dreams? Or are you the kind of person that feels that the vices are more important, yet they're going to complain about the current situation? Well, I should be able to go to the pool hall. I should be able to have you know, a sixer at night. I should be able to have my two packs a day. 
Well, you should be able to. But then if you can't pay your bills or feed your kids, you're giving them powdered milk or no milk at all or no food, and not taking care of responsibilities as a human being or a person or a man or a woman, are you being controlled? Let me say, are you in control or being controlled? Something to think about. On that note, take care of yourself and each other.